today's video, I want to show you one of the ways I use alerts on TradingView.com. This is one of the many important ways I use alerts on TradingView, both on my phone and on my computers. All right, so let's just go straight into it. As you can see, this is a trading view interface and you can see I have a setup. I am waiting for my trade to actually retest from this point where my cursor is right now. Waiting for it to retest from this point where my cursor is right now. Waiting for it to retest from this point. It's this newly formed support, which was previously resistance and test it, then bounce back up. I can easily just leave the setup and walk away and I may probably miss the trade. But by adding alerts, more than one or two alerts, I can actually know what's happening in the market even if I'm not in front of my computer or I am not actually focusing on the trade on my phone. As I said earlier on, I am waiting for the market to move from this point where my cursor is right now to move back to this newly formed support, retest this point and shoot up. Market price is currently revolving right here. I want it to go from this point, come back here, then shoot up. So what do I do? So I can know the progress of the market price. What do I do? I had different alerts to notify me at every single move the market is making. Because even if you want to keep checking time, you might actually miss the right time. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually removing the alerts I have on it already so I can put them and you can see how I use them. So see what the current candle forming. I want to know when it gets to this point in case it doesn't retest. When it gets to this point, just in case it doesn't retest. So I'm going to add an alert. You can see right here. Then you go straight the easiest way so you might not be clicking on trend line because you can add alert to trend line. You can add a lot to arrows you can add it to indicators and so on but right now i want to show you how to use a lot to time your entry all right so this is it right here at this point i'm going to just you can see the market price moving with the white dotted lines then when i click right here the plus icon by the price you can see it says do i want to add a lot to the currency pair or to ichimoku cloud which is an indicator or do I want to sell or buy? I just want to add a lot to the currency itself. So I'll click on this. You can see it will turn yellow, that is it. I have an alert at that point. So when market price gets to that point, I know this thing might not retest anymore, or it's probably going to retest if it gives me a beer candle. All right, that is it. So I want to also know when it's retesting, when it gets to the point where I want to actually go in from my entry right here, then I'll click this. I'll click this it puts that there too all right let's go on so now i have actually had an alert to actually time the two points that are very important to this setup the two points the retest point and the entry point. i have actually had two alerts one there one here so now i want to add alerts to monitor this particular candle i want to know what happens in the next 30 minutes this is a two hours time frame so I want to know what's happening, even if I forget to check the chart. So you can see the top of the candle. I want to move a little bit up and put an alert right there. So I can know if there's a major, major move on this particular candle. You can see I have an alert above that candle and I'm going to set another alert right here below the candle. I'll just give it a little breathing room. So this is it. I'll add an alert to this place too. You can see. There's an alert on the retest point that I wanted to retest from. There's an alert at my entry point. I have an alert above the candle and also another alert below the candle. So guys, I believe with what I've been able to show you right now, you know how important this alert will help me stay on top of this trade. I will not miss the entry. I will not miss the retest. Even if it breaks out of this trend line, I will not still miss the trade because I know what to look out for by the time the alert goes off. With the free version of TradingView, you might not be able to set more than one or two alerts. I think the number of alerts you can set is actually limited. If you want to upgrade to TradingView Pro or any of the paid plans, it will actually help you. 
you can actually use a watch list you can add you can see while i'm still talking you can see an alert go off telling me gbp usd has actually crossed 1.328 and what does this tell me i need to go into my trading view check what's happening with my trade and i wish i can show you my phone right now my trade is in good profit that is the one of the good users of alerts you need to know how to use alerts inside trading view if you want to upgrade your trading view there's a link below that can actually help you upgrade and this is going to make sure you have access to more instruments you have access to more alerts you can use so many watch lists you can create multiple watch lists you can have so many currencies to trade and so many other features no adverts and so on and so forth you can actually go with the monthly plan or the yearly plan so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like this video share this video with friends and family your loved ones let me know if this video has been very helpful and above all do not forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to billionaire bridge so you can be the first to know when we post new content videos tutorials giveaways and so on and so forth thank you so much once again my name is radio and this is billionaire bridge Thank you.